Hi guys, and welcome. This is an Apple IIe. New to me. Uh, very happy to have it. I just put out a little thing on Facebook asking friends and family if they'd be interested in uh, adding to my unofficial collection of uh, classic computers, uh, microcomputers back from the 80s, basically. It's kind of my what I like the most. And um, lo and behold, my cousin got a hold of me and said he had an Apple IIe that he used back in the 80s and loved to pieces, but he was willing to part with uh, to a good home. And uh, so here it is in my garage before its initial boot up. I uh, just wanted to get a quick visual overview on it. Overall condition is pretty good, really, um, especially considering how old it is. There's a little bit of a tear in the fabric on the screen. Uh, to be honest, I'm not really sure what that's for, but it doesn't seem to affect the video at all. Uh, you can see a little bit of yellowing on some of it. Totally to be expected. Nothing really out of the ordinary here. You get a look at this label, you can see that it's from Evansville, Indiana. Uh, that's where he and his family grew up, so that kind of makes sense. <laughs> uh, like I said, overall condition is really pretty good. Just needs a good cleaning, a good scrubbing, and maybe a little bit of retro brighting just to get those colors, uh, the yellowing, to kind of go away. So throughout the process of getting this from my cousin, I intentionally didn't go and research too much on the Apple II. I really wanted to kind of figure things out as I went a little bit. Um, you can see here we got our base unit, we got our floppy drive, but they're both in pretty good condition. We'll look over here at the monitor section, and the only thing right off the bat that kind of strikes me is it looks like there's some wear and tear on this weird mesh that goes over the whole thing. I've never seen a monitor like this before, although I'm sure it was a common thing back in the day. Um, it's really not something I've ever seen since then. I don't know if that screen is used to wick away the static from the screen, or maybe it's used to help sharpen the image, because if you have a mesh like that and you can only see through the holes, maybe it helps to crisp the engine up or, uh, image up a little bit. I'm not really sure. Either way, let's go ahead and crack this guy open and see what we've got inside. There is our nice motherboard, nice power supply, everything's nice, right? Nice. Now let's go ahead and take a good look at some of these expansion cards. The first one that we're going to see is the Apple II 80 column expansion card. Uh, that's the one the far back there, and uh, it, there's, oh, and there's also a printer port. The printer port is the one that says, uh, I think it's called the Graphic Plus or Graphic 2. But this other card there that says Apple 820, that is our 80 column card. That card is responsible for adding memory uh, so that we can go to an 80 column mode instead of just a normal 40 column that originally came with the Apple II. Uh, I believe all Apple IIe's came with this card from the factory, uh, but it enables a lot more. Then we've got our trusty disk interface card. Uh, that's going to do all of our conversion for the floppy drive. That way we don't have to have it built into the board. And if you ever wanted to use a different expand, uh, memory or not memory, storage type, uh, you can do that. This next card, I'm not entirely sure what its purpose is. Uh, initially, I thought it was the sound card, but I believe the sound card is the one behind that. We'll get to that in a minute. So uh, this will take some more research to figure out what this card is. Here we can get a better look at copyright 1983 Sweet Micro. Again, not really sure what that is. Now the card behind it there, you can see. We're gonna zoom, trying to focus in on it here. Um, it says it was made in Singapore. Uh, that one I'm gonna guess is the audio card. It has that crystal oscillator on it, and uh, that to me screams timing, timing, audio. Those fit together pretty well. So. It may be that both of those cards actually are involved in the audio process, but I, I would be willing to bet the other the one with the uh, oscillator definitely is. There's our little built-in speaker and a grill. Nothing too crazy here. Again, just needs a, a good uh, hit with the air just to kind of clean it out. And uh, it'll use a little bit of elbow grease just to get it cleaned up a little bit, but on the whole, uh, I don't see any major signs, no, no immediate corrosion, anything like that. Upon further inspection, I've found a bug in the code. Let's go ahead and zoom it in there. 
fly little guy. He's a little pod bug. We'll get everything down there, no problem. At this point, it's been aired out, it's plugged in, and we're gonna try doing our first start. Ooh, a beep. An LED that says power on. It's a good sign, I think. Our disk drive is choochin. I don't know if it's supposed to be choochin, but it is. Nothing yelling at us. We're at least powered on. Let's check out the monitor. Let's look at the monitor here. Let's see here, it says manufactured in November 1982. So I, uh, I need to check with my cousin to see, but I wouldn't be surprised if this was a Christmas present from 1982 from his parents. Pretty cool though. So we'll, uh, I was gonna take it apart, but I actually opted not to. It hasn't been turned on in years, but I just realized that the process of taking it all apart is going to take so much time and effort. I think we're better off leaving it as it is, and um, we'll see where it goes. All right, time for our first full system boot up. Let's see what we get here. Let's try the monitor. Hope everything blows up. It's on. Not seeing anything, but we're also not putting out any video signals, so that would make sense. Okay. Let's turn on the Apple II. Got a beep. I think I'm starting to see something on there. I don't know if you guys can see it or not. It's faint, if anything. Warm enough, I think. So I just realized my cable, my RCA cable, was not plugged into the back of the Apple II. So we're gonna try this again. Oh, I think I see an Apple II up there. Can you guys see that? There we are, look at that. What a beauty. All right, let's mess with the settings now. There, we're getting somewhere. That, my friends, is a booting Apple II. And that's all there was to it. Uh, we knew it could run, and we knew it could display video, so I went ahead and threw in the Apple II introductory disc and uh, just let it run. Thanks for watching, everybody, and I'll finish this video with letting you guys listen to the sounds of the Apple II in its native habitat. We'll see you next video.